Hey guys, Bruce here from CincySlots.com. Coming to you from the back porch. I'm not out in the middle of the forest, unfortunately. Wouldn't mind being out there for a hike on a day like this, but I'm not. I'm here bringing you the latest and greatest that uh, slot cars that were released to us in the last week or so. I was gonna do a video last week on the new collector cars, but just got slammed with stuff and never got around to it. So I'm gonna try to put those in this video as well. So we're gonna start off with the NSR Corvette. I know it's been out of it, but I'm just getting around to get them in. These are extremely cool. And from what I understand, ridiculously fast. So, when we run our NSR GT3 class, I might just have to buy myself a new set of wheels. They do come angle winder and side winder. Um, it's hard to keep up with people these days. Rather, angle winder is the way to go, side winder is the way to go. Uh, it always seemed in the past that whoever won, that's what everybody wanted. Uh, some other cars that may not necessarily be new, but we're just getting into are the sideways. Yeah, this guy, I think it's taped. Nope, maybe not. So here's what he looks like. He's got a big honking wing under here that goes on the back. Can never go wrong with the Falcon tire delivery. And another sideways I've been wanting to bring in for quite some time is the Ford GT. Again, it's taped shut. And there's always one or two of you that are into keeping everything original. So rather than take a chance, I'm just going to leave it shut. It also comes with the wing it's in the back here. And then the Skelectrics from last week. We have this one for Daryl. I'm sure he's going to have one at some point. Is the Cobra with the golf paint scheme. Not so sure the light out here is all that great, but I'll do my best. Now this one, let me get my eyeballs on. Did they change it? It's like they, they changed it. They used, oh, here it is, sorry, my bad. So it does have front and rear headlights. Magnetic downforce, of course. And it does not appear to be digital chip ready, but that's okay. Next one we have is the Ferrari 330 P4. I really like this one. I love the open top. Uh, this one is also headlight, taillight, non-DPR ready. I know the guy looks like he's got a gold helmet, but it's actually silver. I think the light overhead is playing with us. Then the last one of the Skelectrics is absolutely humongous. I don't know if I can get it on the screen at once. The Batmobile. This is the Michael Keaton one. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm not going to race it. But um, if my tire mold experiment goes the way that it's been going i'm gonna try to get some tires made up for this guy and this one says it's front and rear headlights dpr ready which it could be two dpr ready you can put two chips in there yeah let's put that guy back this one I believe has been out. I just got restock on it. 
the STP 701. This march has always been one of my favorites. Then we've got a few more from Thunder Slot. We have the Lola. Let's see if I can block out the glare. But that looks awesome. It's even got the right number on it. If you want to win, anyhow. And we have a couple of the new Elvas. These things, if you don't have one, if you just want to have a car that you can crush the field in, this is definitely one of those. These cars handle fantastic. They're almost like the Mosler version, but from Thunder Slot. It almost looks like the, the other McLarens as well with this orange. They really look a lot alike. Let me put this one out. Not so much. But yeah, all three of those just came in. They'll be available on our site soon. And I know I reported on this before, but we got more of these in. Is the Thunder Slot Toolkit. Comes with a lot of different tips to get you into your cars. It's well worth it. We brought them in a few months back and they sold out in no time. So they must be helpful for a lot of people because they don't last long. Um, some other restocks we got in, Carson chips. Uh, we've been out of those for a couple weeks, but if you need some Carson chips, we got those back in stock as well as the uh, tire truer. These will be back up on the page later today, early tomorrow, if anybody needs one. Uh, we're still working on getting the reciprocator. Uh, they didn't have any when we ordered those. And lastly, uh, may have mentioned it, that we were messing with a uh, 3D printer. You can see my backyard here for a second while I pull some of these guys out. So I know it's some of these figures are not everybody's, well, come on, everybody's cup of tea, but basically I'm just showing you the detail that is in these new resin printers. I don't know if I can get it to focus with the light in the background, but and the detail just on his helmet. There's no lines from where like a PLA printer. This is cousin Eddie from Christmas Vacation. Again, awesome detail. And I know you're all saying it in your head about his tenement on wheels being full. Here's a little banana night guy. It looks big on camera, but the, uh, I'm not talking about that, the handle on his sword that comes through, it looks like it's pretty thick, but trust me, it's, it's not, it's a small piece. It would be next impossible to get that to print on PLA. So what I've been doing with my resin printer the last few days is updating our tire inserts or wheel inserts. These are coming out simply fantastic. Those are gonna be going on my, my CUDA for this year's Trans Am series. Also got, these are just 
basic wheel inserts that we've been messing around with. I haven't really done a whole lot to them. Just print them and make sure they fit. Here's the, let's see what I could use to block out some of this light. Nope. I just used my hand. But that's the Krager without the ring around it. So if you've already got aluminum wheels, this would probably be the way to go. Um, you've seen this one before. We had this last year. And I wish I could get a better view for you, but these inserts are really awesome. If you remember back in the day, I think it was an Audi A4 that SCX made. Terrible car, but they were the only ones that made that particular car well these would be the perfect wheel inserts for that look at how deep those go and it's got the little fins to cool the brakes on the edge these are highly detailed looks great and then we also have like the wheels that would go on a Ford GT just superb they look great three millimeters thick now they're not going to fit every wheel perfectly they're mostly made for like the slotted wheels but um you know they'll fit other wheels they'll be maybe a tad loose or a tad tight and if that's the case uh you know you have to put a touch of glue to hold them in place if they're too tight you just take some sandpaper sand around it everything's good this is one i downloaded off the web i don't think you can see see it because it's black and I should have painted it in primer but basically it's just a VW generic wheel cover and that's pretty sweet and last year I know I showed you these so if you have the fly truck and you have NSR wheels on it like this one does I printed this one on the PLA printer and I don't know if it's going to show you like the rough edges and whatnot and then I have this one that I just did with the 3D printer and these edges are super smooth the studs are crisp sharp everything looks great this is the front wheel that I did in plastic you can see it's not very smooth when it's on the truck it looks great you're not gonna really know notice the difference but then you have this one where the sides are completely smooth the detail on the wheel itself you can make out where the studs are the center caps real nice so when you put them on the truck, which again, these have to be painted. I just primed them and we're showing them for this video, but they fit in there perfect. And they look so much better, in my opinion, than just leaving them off and not having any rims whatsoever. And the last thing that I did is I printed a brake rotor with the caliper in there. Now this slides right over that center piece that the axle goes through. So it's on there nice and snug. Um, yeah, people are gonna say, well, our uh, brake rotor's turning, or the caliper's turning when the wheel is. Uh, that is true, good job. But it's mainly just to add more detail to an already awesome car. So there you have it. We'll be selling those wheel inserts, the brake rotor and caliper. All those will be showing up on our page soon, as well as this mini light. Let's see if I can get some definition there. Okay, so sitting outside is not the best way to do it. I thought it would be nice, but so those mini lights also look killer. 
So yeah, there you have it. If you need anything in this video, uh, just go to our webpage, sensyslots.com, and we'll be adding more of these 3D printed parts. Um, gonna be dabbling in some other stuff that I will share with you at a later date. Um, I gotta work with my my scientist down in the basement and see if we can't come up with something that will be very beneficial to the 124 market for Carrera. So thanks for watching. And again, if you want any of these items, you can get them over at cincyslots.com. Uh, be sure to like, share, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. And thank you very much. We'll see you soon.